everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with Stock Switch and I'm here revealing uh, NKTR. I really like this gap today. Actually, this is setting up again for the afternoon right here. But it had a good move this morning and this was and not an earnings gap. It was some kind of downgrade, I think. Anyways, let's take a look at it. So here it was. Monday morning, very, very early, 5.14 in the morning, boom, 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 dropped. Had quite a lot of volume here in the pre-market. I mean, it's not necessary to have this much, but it really did have a lot. And there's the gap. Stock closed the previous day on Friday night. Really had a big bar on Friday. High was 92.17. Close was 90.35. So a really big move here. Now, where did it open this morning? It opened way down at 62.27 and it opened on the 200 premium of an average. For those of you who don't know where I have my, <coughs> excuse me, lines, this red line is the 200 period moving average. So there you have it. A lot of people like to buy stocks on support on this line. However, I don't do that at all. You can't just buy every gap into support, just like you can't short every gap to resistance. However, this is what I do. I look at the gap, I find the gap, I rate it. If it rates according to my system, I take it in the direction of the gap, whether it's up or down. In this case, it was a down gap, so it was a short. And this set up really fast today, okay? So I call this in the room in the morning, fell off a cliff. Fell all morning, actually. I'm just seeing this here now, it actually fell straight down, right into around 10, 15. So you could have done this here, got out here for quick trade, could have done it here, fell in here, could have lowered the stop, could have played it all the way down into 10. I mean, you could have did so many different things with it. But if you, for some reason, didn't get the play right out of the gate, I want to show you one quick one in here. We'll be going over this in the webinar tonight that's set up right in here. Boom, boom. This right in here doesn't look like much, but it is quite a lot. Do you see this in here? Boom, boom. And I said in the room this morning, 52 was a real target in this, broke 52. It did go to that number. I was absolutely right. <laughs> and this move right in here doesn't look like much, but it's almost $3. It's almost $3 that happens literally in 15 minutes. Boom. This is all that you need on any given day, or this here if you did it early. This, 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 or this. All that you need is a move. You take the trade, you're up as soon as you take it, it goes into the move, you get out. Take it, get out, take it, get out, take it, get out. That's how you make money day trading. It's very important to understand that. This is not about trading and holding something all day. Uh, things wiggle and jiggle, things move around. So this could set up again, it's trying to do it. It's a, not a good time to trade here. It's a crappy time to take any trades here around 1230, but uh, this could make another second leg down sometime this afternoon. Good volume of this. Spread has tightened up a lot. And uh, I'll be reviewing this in the webinar tonight. Nice, nice gap. I'm going to talk about that tonight. And congratulations to everyone that did this today. Have a good day, everyone.